I think the administration's approach has made it more difficult, actually. Um, you know, there, there, are, there are specific, the more specific the United States is about exactly what it wants from China and exactly how to get off of this uh, escalation path that we're on towards a trade war, I, I think the better it will be. The broader the ask, you know, the, 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 the general statements that, you know, China's cheating us and, and uh, um, you know, and that tariffs are a good thing and, and will terrify them. You know, what, what, that, what that does is it kind of gets China's back up against the wall. And uh, I think there are things that the United States and China actually have in common. There are, diff there are serious differences. But, you know, one, one interesting thing here is this notion um, that I've heard many people in the administration say that, that somehow China, because of its economic troubles, uh, all it needs is, is kind of a kick from the United States and it will be down on its knees and, and asking for mercy. And I think that really misinterprets the nature of the problems that China has. You know, China, a lot of the imbalances that developed in China's economy were actually in response to an export shock from the United States back in 2008. And rather than an, another export shock actually pushing China, you know, in the opposite direction, in the direction we wanted to go, I think it, it would actually push it farther down the path of, of closing its markets and sort of building a wall. And, and, and I think mm. that that's a, um, the danger is that we're pushing China in the wrong direction instead of a direction that we wanted to go. Uh, John, uh, Patrick's answer has a lot of meat to, uh, to chew on there, and I invite you to do so. But, but let me tee up the question this way. Do you believe the administration and the president specifically wants, above all, to change Chinese behavior or, alternatively, to hurt the Chinese economy to the benefit of the U.S. economy? And if it's the former, change China's behavior, is he going about it the right way? Uh, first of all, I agree with Patrick on an awful lot of what he said. Uh, second, uh, to your question, uh, I think the goal is, is a third one, which is domestic political uh, uh, impact, and, uh, and that this really is not a Chinese adventure at all. But let's talk about what we can get from China. If you want to negotiate with a foreign, uh, foreign government on trade issues, first of all, you have to have a clear objective, as Patrick said. Second of all, you really need some people in-house that know where everything is buried inside China, long time what are called China hands. They don't have them. And so we're going after these blunderbuss uh, goals. Our announced goal is to change the merchandise trade deficit, which means stuff that goes on containers on boats and gets shipped manufactured goods. Uh, that's not the right measure of trade if you even did want to change it. Uh, trade is, includes services and ironically if you were able to reform intellectual property laws in China in a way that allowed U.S. to export more services which is where most patents are attached, exporting more services would drive up the dollar and drive up the merchandise trade deficit. The shooting at the wrong weapon. We would like open markets we would like Chinese government not to mess with our companies in China, which is the biggest story. And we would like protection of intellectual property around the world. That's difficult in China because they don't have a court system that's really set up to do that. But there are a lot of allies in China rooting for us. Alibaba, uh, Huawei, all those kind of companies. So uh, this, this is not something you should do with a cleaver. It's something you should do with a rapier. You know. Trade is a very complicated issue, not a headlines issue. Patrick, do you think that the Chinese economy is on shaky enough footing or it's fragile enough that they would do a deal with the U.S.? Or are they much stronger than President Trump is potentially giving them credit for here? I think the Chinese economy is on shaky ground, but it's been on shaky ground for a while, um, mainly because of imbalances that have developed because of this credit expansion, like I said, it was a response to um, the slowdown globally and an over-reliance on investment, an over-reliance on credit um, has, has definitely put the Chinese economy on some shaky ground. How that will play out, you know, people have different views. Um, but I don't think it's in the United States' interest, in the interest of the U.S. economy, or it would be helpful to the U.S. economy 
to sort of poke a stick in that and make it and try to make it worse. Um, I actually think it's in our interest to try to help them work through those issues and work through those issues by doing what they said they wanted to do several years ago, which is open up their economy more and make it more market based.